electromagnet concept testing. We got a mini, probably a hundred microfarad capacitor, about three hundred volt. A boost controller, twelve volt input, three hundred ninety volts output. A little screwdriver, a cool lot pulled off of an air conditioner contactor. Here it goes. All right, just doing a little update on my coil gun um, thing I'm trying to do here. So this is basically what it's going to look like. It's going to be a, I took out the little selector switch here and just put a, a rock or toggle light up one. Um, I don't have any batteries in it right now, but I'm just kind of mocking up what I'm going to do. The main battery is going to go in here. It's going to be a LiPo. Um, on the inside, I pretty much gutted it out already. See if we can kind of show you what the, some of the electronics look like. If I can get it apart. Started mounting the electronics in it. High voltage 12 volt relay. There's that toggle switch. The charge controller, I still gotta mount that. There's gonna be a momentary push button on the outside of it here that you hold in to charge the capacitor. I'm gonna find a way to mount that. I'm probably gonna mount it on the bottom rail here like that. And uh, I took the trigger out. I'm gonna put another momentary push button here. So when the capacitor is charged, you can push that button and send the voltage to the coil. This is the barrel I'm working on. I still gotta wrap the coil around it and it's gonna go in here. I gotta get the Dremel out and cut this away. That way it makes room for my coil to stick out because it ain't gonna be able to sandwich in this body. So there's gonna be an opening here and gonna be able to see the coil. So I just started working on it today and uh, pretty much took an old airsoft gun chassis and gutted it out. And so I'm gonna be putting it in. So. That's where I'm at right now. So we'll see how it turns out. Still got a couple, maybe a couple weeks left and I'll finish it. Oh shit. Yep, both sides. I guess it works. <laughs>